Hey team, how are you doing? Just want to give you a quick presentation on some of our performance planning leading into camp and some explanation about our days and different drill types. So we're going to go through the first part which are drill colors. So each one of the drills will have one of three colors. So the first one we're going to look at is our green drills. So it's high intensity game related, generally about three to four minutes we're on here. Right? This is where we're getting really expansive, really going hard at the drills, really game related. Second one is our orange drill. Orange drill encompasses a bit more learning, so it would be a bit slower. There's moderate contact. We're looking at some game situations like structured attack and structured defense, a bit of moderate intensity, and looking at five to seven minute blocks within each one. And then we have our red. So our red is full contact. Yep, shoulders on, high intensity, again, three to four minute blocks. This is where we work hard, defend our line, so we've got a few different day types for you. So first one, install craft. So this one here is all about the learning. All right? Generally a walk or a jog through, all right? just to ensure the organizational parts that we're going to do probably later on in the day. So it works with close skills to develop low intensity and low volume. All right? We also introduce new drills. So if drills and plays are carried out within the session, they are done at a jog through pace, like I said earlier. So we actually get them comprehended a lot easier. Sessions are a low volume and intensity and not usually GPS monitored. So we can do these in runners, we can do this in a hall, we can do this in a judo center, wherever we need to do it. And it's very, very short because it's, it's on the morning of the training and generally only for about 30 minutes. Our next day is prepare to win, right? We all love lifting trophies, right? The aim of this is to work on the previous game, if we've played a previous game, and definitely the next game. So we're looking at elements of what we need to either fix or get right for the game coming up. Right? There is going to be frequent stops for any of these sessions. Right? A typical drill of play with, a, with um, a reduced level of endurance and speed. So that's what, to what's required within a game. So again, we're just executing what we would have learned earlier probably in the organizational or install session. Right. Like I said, reduced level of speed. We still do it at intensity, but not at game pace intensity within these sessions. Right, warm up. The focus for this one is obviously range of motion, making sure our bodies are right. You would have seen us send out a video last night of stuff that you need to do before we actually commence our, our training session warm up. So that's your responsibility. Make sure you are ready to go. And then there's a heavy focus on recovery. These sessions are quite long and obviously a bit of time on feet, good bit of contact, so heavy focus on recovery. Next day, physical. All right. So what we're looking at here is the heaviest session of the week. So this, this encompasses probably two different types of drills. So extensive and intensive drills. So the extensive one is more specific endurance stuff. So we take a number of narrow skill blocks like unstructured attack and it's done at game pace right? and we want to find a tactical context within these. Then the other one, intensive, so specific strength, numbers of skill blocks take place, will take place in small spaces to increase your decision making under fatigue. All right. So we want to be able to start, stop, change direction, jump, all that stuff. Right, the idea of this is to put players under pressure for physical output. So as we know, not everything goes to plan on the field. So we really want to work hard. Ball could be thrown in at any stage. You might have to react to certain drills, react to coaches' calls. This is where we're on here. All right. So warm-up will include a lot of wrestling because during the sessions, we're regularly, we're regularly going to look for opportunities to put, put you guys under pressure um, physically as well as tactically. And again, a heavy recovery focus. This is our biggest session of the week. So making sure that we're actually recovering well, probably getting some massage put inside here, um, hot and colds, and obviously probably just a bit of time to chill out, relax your mind. You know, it's been a probably massive day for you guys. Our fast day. Well, it goes without saying, it's all about speed. But we're talking about speed of execution of the game plan. So generally, this is our captain's run. 
So whatever we do, we do it at high intensity, we do it at speed, but we're getting our execution spot on here. All right. There's only two speeds. We're either on or we're off. All right. And what I mean by that is like when we're on, we're executing at high demand, right? Short efforts. We're only looking at three to four phases. And then when we're off, we're actually doing recovery or jogging or walking. Right, our warm-up is all you know, very much fired up, switch on, small-sided games. We'll do something just to fire you guys up. Bit of fun, but also knowing the fact that when we get into the session, we're switched on. And this will go for 45 minutes at the most. So that gives you a brief outline of what our sessions are going to look like. So when you see them named either physical or fast, we do an org session, we're doing a, um, a prepare to win session, you know what that means. And when we're told that you're going for, right, we're going here, we're going drill, say, green drill on here, that means we're on. We're on here. Red, shoulders on. Nice. Get smacking. Really, really put people on their backs. I hope that gives you a, a brief overview. Any questions, hit me up.